Welcome to Sunla Sopa, Destiny's Child. And we have Latoya, Kelly, and Beyonce. And Latoya, but she couldn't come today. Why? Because she was, she's sick. She's ill. Yeah. And the doctor told her that she has to stay in bed for a couple of days. So unfortunately, she's not with us, but she's with us in spirit. Yeah. Right, so. But she's back in Houston. Yeah, yeah. she's, she's back getting, at home. trying to get well. So. Yeah, send her, tell she's her we get there. well from us. All, All right. right, thank you. <laughs> uh, 1999 has been a great year for you. For instance, uh, Bills, Bills, Bills uh, hit the top American billboard. How has uh, this changed your life? Uh, we're just more busy now, and we never get a chance to really go home and like spend a lot of time with our family. But other than that, everything has been wonderful. I think the good outweighs the bad because for one, we get to travel all over the world, meet new people, and it's just a pleasure going around the world and having people accept your music. I mean, it's just a blessing more than anything. Mm. And you've known each other since you were eight, now you're 18, so you know each other quite well. Uh, could you please describe each other, if you just start to describe Latoya? How is she? Okay, <laughs> I'll describe Latoya. Latoya is the energetic, happy one of the group. Um, when everyone else is feeling kind of sad or if something is, the day is going bad, then Latoya always brings up a memory or something to make us laugh. And when, or when we're watching movies or something, she'll always find something <laughs> in the movie to point out that'll make us laugh. And yeah. she's just always bringing in laughter. That's, I have to say the same. Yeah, she's like the Jim Carrey of the group. It's <laughs> <laughs> really silly. And, and describe Kelly. Uh, me? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Kelly is... She's a sensitive one, but at the same time, she has a lot of personality. She could get silly right with me. Um, but she's she's a very caring person, a very affectionate person. Like, if she meets a fan, she, she doesn't care who it is. She'll just hug them and make them feel very, very important. She's a very sweet and kind-hearted person at the same time. And then we have Beyonce. Beyonce is like the mother of the group. She's very caring. She's very wise. And... She's like the perfectionist. I mean, if like we need to like get something straight, if we need to get our attitude straight, you know, she's like, come on, y'all, we got to get on top of it. You know, we got to be, you know, Destiny's Child. We always have to stay on top. And she's the mother of the group. She's very caring, very supportive. Um, Christmas is coming up. Yeah. Uh, what is Christmas for you? Beyonce, we can Christmas. I love Christmas. <laughs> um, Christmas to us means family. Family time, sharing family time, the Christmas tree, opening presents, giving, yeah. um, food, food. Oh. Oh. <laughs> we love food. We what, love what to eat. What kind of food to eat at Christmas? Uh, I eat Thanksgiving dinner again. For <laughs> I mean everything. My grandmother goes all out, and my mom and my aunts they all get in the kitchen and work it out for us. Yeah. Is there something specific that you like at the Christmas table? Yams. Yams. <laughs> Dressing. <laughs> Yams and macaroni and cheese. Macaroni, greens, yeah. uh, turkey. So you need cheese. to rest like a couple of days afterwards just to oh, lay yeah. down to get yeah. the food. <laughs> just to let it sit up there and just marinate. <laughs> uh, do you used to sing a lot at Christmas too? Do you yeah. have a favorite Christmas carol? I know, um, Hark How the Bells. I don't know which one is that. Hark how the bells, sweet silver bells, all sing to say, throw kids away. Christmas is here, bring your chin, ding, 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 a bugaboo. <laughs> a bugaboo is basically um, someone, you give them your phone number. It doesn't necessarily have to be the opposite sex. It could be a friend or a family member or whatever. But you give them your number and they call a little too much. You check your voicemail and it's that person. You go around the corner and it's that person. They're just <laughs> kind of following you. We call them a friendly stalker. So they're bugging you, like <laughs> nagging you. So call them bugaboos. Is it, is it uh, common that guys uh, get that silly and annoying when they, they fall in love? Um, yeah, I think everybody does. I don't think necessarily guy, because I know I'm googie. You know, but my parents or my family or my older, especially I chaperone Michelle, is like, you are just sick. You are horrible. 
horrible. Because, you know, when you fall in love, you don't know nothing. Yeah. You don't but, know but anything. But falling in love is different from yeah. being a bugaboo. bugaboo. Yeah. We don't yeah. mean, like, someone falling in love and then just calling a person all the time to check up on them. That's nice. But it's someone who you just met, yeah. and you give them your phone number, and you don't even know them that well, but they're just like, ah, all they want to do is call. And it's like, gosh, I don't even know you like that, so... But Bills, 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 that's a uh, guy that is, he's nice in the beginning and then he's yeah. not that not nice. So nice. No. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, is that a yeah. true story? No, um, it happened to us, but not to that extent of the song. Mm -hmm. um, I met this guy and, you know, I thought he was nice in the beginning. So one day we went out to the movies or whatever. He's like, are you going to pay? Uh -huh. I'm like, excuse me? <laughs> you know? I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. If y'all are in a relationship, it needs to be a 50-50 thing. But we're old-fashioned. And, like, on the first date, it's nice if the guy pays for the movie that one time. But later on, we don't mind paying for anything because it, that's just how it should be. How, how do you want a guy to be? So, I mean, he needs to be caring and understanding. And supportive I think a Christian and supportive is most important. A Christian so we especially. should be the same. Right, yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thank you. Now the stage is yours, ladies. Right. Okay. Och nu är det alltså dags Destiny's Child med Bugaboo. Bugaboo. You bugging me. <laughs> you make me wanna throw my picture out the window Tell me if I to put the phone call Break my lease so I can move Cause you a bugaboo, a bugaboo I wanna put your number on the call block Have it or else make my email stop Cause you a bugaboo, you bugging what you bugging Who you bugging me and don't you see it ain't cool It's not hot that you be calling me Just to me page of my people you just not stop And it's not hot that you be leaving me messages every ten minutes and being sci-fi When nothing that you were cool But it was game you had me fooled Cause 20 minutes after I gave you my number You already had my mailbox full So what? So what? Huh. what? Now I guess you think I owe you I you don't, don't owe you, you do? I give them back to me, do with you And so what? So what? It's not hot that when I'm blocking your phone number, you call me over your best friend's house. And it's not hot that I can't even go out with my girlfriend without you tracking me down. You need to chill out with that mess, cause you can't keep having me stress. Cause every time my phone rings, it seems to be you, and I'm praying that it is someone else. So what? So what? What now? I guess you think I owe you. I don't have to owe you. Oh, 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 oh,